Hello there and welcome to Dolan Bikes. Now we here at Dolan don't just do one, but two different kinds of tandems. My name's John and you've seen me unbox a Dolan TDR road tandem. But in this box, and what I'll be unboxing and assembling today for you, is a Dolan TDT track tandem. So, let's get started. So, for this build, what you'll need is a 4mm Allen key, a 5mm Allen key, a 15mm spanner, a standard torque wrench, and last but not least, a good pair of scissors. Step one, nice and easy, you're gonna take those scissors and cut away the tape on the box so you can look at the treasures inside. So there we go, let's see what we've got. So as with our road tandem, the track tandem is indeed another long boy, but it's a similar kind of process in terms of assembly as the road version. Similar kind of things are detached, such as your front handlebars, your rear handlebars, which can be located in the front wheel box here, and therefore your front wheel will need attaching as well. And both front and rear seat posts will need attaching as well. Those can be found here, and then the second one is just below it next to the rear wheel. You can start with whichever part you like, but today we'll be starting with the rear seat post. So attaching your rear seat post is nice and simple. What you're gonna do is take this bit of cardboard out here, then slide the seat post out of that. Throw the cardboard to one side, take your four mil Allen key, and slide your seat post into the rear seat tube. There we go, just to a random height for now. You're gonna tighten the clamp with your Allen key. There we go. Now to make sure that's secure in the frame, what you're gonna do is take your torque wrench and tighten that up to six newton meters, as that's a maximum setting for the seat clamp. There we go. So there's the rear seat post, nice and secure in our track tandem. So now it's time to take your tandem out of the box and get it nice and secure. Now for those of you without a bike stand at this point, what we suggest doing is taking this bit of foam that the fork's resting in inside the box, putting the foam on the floor, putting the forks back into the foam, then you can lean the bike against like a wall or a kitchen unit or just a secure surface like that. And it also is worth making sure you're not resting the bike on the drivetrain. Now for those of you with a bike stand, but no, there's actually a few pointers here because of course the tandem is a longer bike it's worth just propping the front forks up using something like the box it came with. So it could be worth keeping hold of the box just while you assemble the bike. Now what we're gonna do next is attach the front seat post and the rear handlebars. So to attach your front seat post and your rear handlebars, what you're gonna do is of course take them out of the box. Here are some I removed earlier. You're gonna slide the post through the middle part of the bars. There we go, just like that. Then you're gonna slide the post into the front seat tube. There we go, again, just at a random height for now. Then you're gonna take your four mil Allen key and tighten up your front seat clamp. There we go, just hand tighten that for now. Then you're gonna take your five mil Allen key and tighten up the bolts on your rear handlebars. Now again, with your 5mm Allen key, what you're gonna do is adjust these bolts here so your bars can be tilted up to the right level for you. And there we go. So now that your handlebars and your seat post are secure in the frame, it's now time to torque those up properly. So you're gonna take your torque wrench, set it to six newton meters again for the front seat clamp and tighten that up first. There we go. Now you're gonna to change to a five mil Allen socket and bring the torque setting down to five Newton meters for these five mil bolts. There's one.
There we go. And now these ones. There we go. And finally. There we go. So your rear handlebars, your front seat post, and your rear seat post are nice and secure in your track tandem. So now that your handlebars and your seat post are secure in the frame, it's now time to torque those up properly. So you're gonna take your torque wrench, set it to six newton meters again for the front seat clamp, and tighten that up first. There we go. Now you're gonna to change to a five mil Allen socket and bring the torque setting down to five newton meters for these five mil bolts. There's one. There we go. And now these ones. There we go. And finally. There we go. So your rear handlebars, your front seat post, and your rear seat post are nice and secure in your track tandem. So now that those parts have been attached, what we're gonna do is take our trusty scissors and cut away all the bits of tape that are covering our lovely new tandem. So now that the tape's been cut away, what we're gonna do is attach the front handlebars. So to attach your handlebars, what you're gonna need is your four mil Allen key, take each of the four stem bolts off, pop your bars in, make sure they rotate to the correct level for you, not too far upwards or downwards, then tighten each of the four bolts back up again to five newton meters. So now that your stem bolts have been tightened by hand, it's now time to take the all reliable torque wrench and tighten them up to five newton meters, as I mentioned before. Now with stem bolts, it's important just to do one rotation in each screw, that way they tighten a bit more evenly and you're not gonna risk damaging your brand new handlebars. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. So there you go, your front handlebars are now nice and secure on the front of your track tandem. So now it's time to attach your front wheel. So what you're gonna do is take your wheel out your box and take your 15 mil spanner. Then you're gonna carefully remove what's propping your bike up. Then you're gonna slide the wheel between your forks. There we go. Taking your spanner, you're gonna tighten both of the nuts up as well. So there we go, that's how you attach your front wheel. So there we go folks, your brand new Dolan TDT track tandem is fully assembled and ready for you and your cycling partner to break those velodrome records. Now if you've got any more questions about your tandem, the link to it can be found in the description down below and that'll take you directly to our website. Alternatively, feel free to give us a call or drop us an email and we will do our best to assist you in any way we can. Follow us on our social media channels, those are in the links in the description down below as well for all the latest news and updates about Dolan bikes. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos about all things Dolan. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoy riding your new tandem.